Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead Blind. Where we last left off, we were, uh, going into the Marsh House, and we had come face to face with a fellow who we believe might be the man who has kidnapped Clementine, but he is not someone that we have seen before. Let me out. Oh, yep. Oh, man. Quiet, please. So you gotta be very careful who you talk to, Clementine. Your things. There. Not everyone is who they say they are. On the radio. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? I chose to give him everything. I don't want to... Good. Go sit down. If I lied, I could see him... Like, frisking me and getting angry. Do you know who I am? No, I don't know who you are. Well, I'm just going to say yes. Yeah. I know who you are. You sell my car out front then. You see anything else you want in there? Not a whole lot left. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? Oh, well, this is the owner of that car. It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look. That uh, we could have we could have like taken stuff from in. Episode two, I believe. Episode one or, or two. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back. And all our stuff was gone. Your people did it. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. Mm. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I feel, I feel very sorry for you, man. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth. I'm not quite sure how he knows my name. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. I would do it differently if I could. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. I'm not sure. Oh, uh. You weren't there. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! Dude, she's like just ridic ridiculing all my choices. How could you know all this? What the heck? Please don't. Um, 
Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. What? Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lead, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. No, buddy. I bet you don't even know how old she is. You don't. You seem very creepy. Eight. Wrong. She's nine. What? Her birthday was six days ago. Okay. I know how to be a dad, you know. Hmm. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. Let us go. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. Please. We're going away, and we're starting a new family. You're, you're freaking weird, man. Hey, honey. I think this is all going to work out. Hey, that's, that's real messed up. What? Get him, Clementine. Had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. What is he talk? What is the heck? I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh. oh. Get away from me. Get away from me. Clementine hates you. Nice. I'm the true father. Oh, this is... Uh, this is... Very difficult. No. Clementine, don't look. Don't look, Clementine. Huh? Oh, man. That's why you shouldn't talk to strangers like that, Clementine. Had to be done. He would have come back. That's right, sweet pea. Aww. I'm sorry. I love a happy ending. It's okay. Your arm's gone. Why? That's so scary. I had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. I'm, I'm still on the boat theory. I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. I think he, he, uh, he seems sort of shoehorned, really. Like I, I don't I thought I was gonna be something like someone that we knew or whatever, but 
I don't know, I'm not sure if I... Thing was handled sort of weirdly. Let's talk, Clementine. Which way out? Through there. Let's go. Oh. Hello. Let's kiss. Yeah, that's the thing, yeah. Yeah, I know it. Must have. You're covered in all that gross stuff. Had to get through a bunch of them to get here. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. Well, like, cover yourself and... Cover yourselves in, like, a uh, zombie... Organs or something? Oh no. Clementine, I just want you to bathe in this. Ugh. Wrap this around your neck, Clementine. That's messed up. Do a little more. Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. It's more gross. That should do it. I hope so. Now, as long as you're wearing that dress, Clementine, you're efficiently, effectively immune. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around and don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Now, this this idea might just might be stupid enough to work. Just, just, just keep on walking, Clementine. What is it? Oh, are we, are we fading out? Okay, okay, we're good. M my fear is that Lee's just gonna collapse at any second. Don't, don't pay any attention to them. Don't stand out. I want to say there was another game, either a game or a movie or something. There's like, a, there's like, there's like some sort of media. I think it might be a movie, where like the people have to like pretend to be zombies to like move around in, in like the, a zombie horde, and, and like they have to like go or something like that. Like there's definitely something. I'm, oh, is that? Is that her parents? Oh no! I'm trying to think of what I was thinking of. But what is it that people have to pretend to be zombies? Please don't be dead. Please no. I'm alive, Clementine. I won't leave you, Clementine. Not on purpose. It's a good thing. Lee, they're dead. They really are. But you know, you're gonna be sad for a very long time. But you know what happened to them. We'll get you somewhere. 
we're safe. We've just let it all out. Okay. Okay. Well, he's still got some fight left in him. Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Our eyes are sort of jaundiced. It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. That was a good thing you did, Clementine. Pull on three. One. Two. Three. Oh. Only got one arm. you do that? Because I was bitten, Cleo. Please, no. No. That's not true. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm supposed to take care of you. I can't now. I know. Things aren't looking well. We'll do our best, Clementine, to get you to safety. I think there might be a way out over there. Good, good girl. Let's go. I might be a little slow. I'll help you. Thank you, Clementine. We need it. We haven't got long left. <laughs> oh. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought well, I was helping by probably bringing crushing you, you Clementine. Oh, you did, honey. It's awful out there. They would have chewed me up. It was hard. I don't know how you did it, but you did good. Okay? Keep going. We're almost there. Baby step, put one for one foot, one foot in front of the other. Get up, Lee. The door is right here. I'm gonna call the video there, folks. Next time, we will uh, most likely see the fate of Lee Everett. Okay, like I said, like I predicted, I think I think it's gonna end up. Clementine killing Lee. We'll find out next time. I'm Luke with Stallers 1000. Hope you guys enjoyed. Liquid out.